live onto our group. Let's just have a look, see if we are live this morning. Let's have a little look. If you're on live, give us some, we're on live. Good morning, everybody. Hope you've all had a fabulous weekend. Hope the sun's shining for you wherever you are in the world. Um, we have got a fabulous interview this morning. So if you're on live, give us some thumbs up, some loves hearts, drop us some comments below and let us know whereabouts you actually are. Um, and do feel free to share this, let everybody, you know, see this incredible interview with one of my beautiful friends. Good morning, Trisha Penrose. Good morning, Leanne. How are you? I'm good. How is lockdown treating you, my friend? I'm just getting really bored, Leanne. Yeah. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. <laughs> I'm doing a bit of exercise and I'm eating too much. As you can tell, I put a little bit of weight on. You're looking fat. Um, just sorting clothes out and selling a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah. That's about it, really. Not doing much, watching a lot of Netflix. <laughs> Netflix has gone mad in the house. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I think that's given everyone a, a lot of time to um, to clear those cupboards out, all those junk drawers, isn't it? And yeah. all the poor guys getting uh, doing all the DIY at home as well. It's been great. Oh, so I've been painting as well. I've oh, painted a lot. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. You like yeah, a bit of yeah. DIY? Quite proud of myself, really. Yeah. Quite a nice colour. Duck egg blue. Duck egg blue, I like mm. it. Very nice. <laughs> it's a bit different. We could have Patricia <laughs> Penrose interior design range, couldn't we? Well, you know. You, you see, never know, love. we're thinking on our feet here. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had quite a lot of interviews on here, Trish. We've had um, we've had some I was looking at it the other day and we've had a lot of lot of blokes on here. We've had John Thompson, we've had Ryan Robson, um, a lot of really great blokes. And I was like, we need some strong, powerful females. And oh yeah. Into my head came Trisha Penrose, the oh, oh yeah. <laughs> and you've gotta. <laughs> I've gotta, I've gotta. So because you've had such um such an amazing career, really. You've obviously best known for Gina in Heartbeat, which you were in for 17 years, but you've also done Coronation Street, Emmerdale, you're in Big yep. Brother, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, and you're a phenomenal singer. I always remember when I first met you, you were always up at the end of the night singing a few songs. <laughs> After a few sherbets, I tell you. After a few sherbets. Yeah, I, I do love me singing. I, I, I love it. I do. I miss it. I want to get back into singing. Yeah. Which I am going to be. Yes. Doing yeah. charity, I'm going to be doing a charity single. Amazing. Yeah. So it's going to be You To Me Are Everything. Oh, I love that song. Uh, uh, with Gaynor Morgan, she's going to be doing uh, some of the backing vocals and possibly a bit more. And Greg Morton's going to produce it. Keith Hammond's produced it and he's done the, the, the track. He's done Robbie Williams, Kylie Minogue. Wow. He's, he's, he's a top producer. So, yeah, so I'm going to be recording that tomorrow in Manchester in the studio. So I'm very, very excited. Absolutely amazing. I can't and wait to it. When's it's that going to be out? for uh, Roy Castle Lung Cancer Foundation. Which I'm, I'm, I can't say this ambassador for. I'm an ambassador, really? uh, and Gainer's uh, doing uh, Beechwood Cancer Charity. So two really good charities. Yeah, because you've done That's a lot of charity work over the years, haven't you? I've done loads of charity work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love me. I love doing me charity, like yourself. You know. Yeah. yeah. It's just the gem, the gem appeal, and you know, yeah. like, well, there's so many amazing charities, especially up, up in Manchester, well, all over really. But in Manchester, there's some fabulous charity um, charities to support, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. So, but could, could take me back to the beginning because what, what we really like to um, understand is obviously the, the world of show business, the world of entertainment can seem very glamorous, and it's kind of in you from an early age for most people, isn't it? And I, I read somewhere uh, last night that you kind of frequented the working men's clubs with your mum quite often over in Liverpool where you grew up. Um, what kind of, did you have like a moment where you just kind of went, this is what I want to do? Yeah, well, from a very, very early age, I used to put shows on in the garage oh. at the house where we used to live in Kirby. And I used to charge 50 pence to come and watch the show. I used to do Grease and uh, The Wizard of Oz. And I, of course, I was always the star of the show. Of course. Uh, so yeah, 50 pence to get in to watch the show. <laughs> and then, um, my, well, my stepdad's um, friend was in uh, Brookside. Matty used to play Tony Scroggins, he was called. And uh, he got me an audition when I was 14 to play Damon Grant's girlfriend. And, uh, and I got the part and I was absolutely beside myself because Damon Grant was the heartthrob. Do you remember him, Simon O'Brien? Yeah, I do, yeah. Uh, so I was his girlfriend. 
and uh, used to go to school and everyone was going, oh, I'm so jealous of you, Trisha. <laughs> Same grand scale friend. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So it just went on from there, really. And then I got my agent was Ricky Tomlinson. Right. You know, family. Oh, yeah. So I was with him. And then I did like Boone, Medic, Emmerdale. And then just, just went on and on. Really, yeah. I've never stopped working, to be fair. Apart yeah. from now. <laughs> that's testament to you, isn't it? Because there's so much na nowadays, we're going to talk about reality TV in a minute, but there's so much nowadays. Um, we were chatting about this at lunch a few months ago, and it's just a completely different industry. There's like this short blast of, of celebrityism and fame, and then it's gone. And so people who have longevity within this, this industry, you just have to take your hats off to them because, you know, it's testament to who you are and how talented you are and how multi-talented you are, really. Um, <laughs> Talking about you singing a little bit more, you were actually signed by Simon Cowell, weren't you? I was, yeah. So in Heartbeat, in one of the episodes, Gina sang Where Did Our Love Go? In a, it was like a big boxing ring. And so Simon got in touch with the producers and said, look, can we make a single of this with RCA Records? I was like, oh my God, Simon Cowell, woo! So yeah, I mean, it, it, it did all right. And the, the, the cast were in the video. Nick, Nick Berry was in the video and Derek Foles, Bill Simons and Kasia Pelka. Uh, and I said to them, because Simon wasn't paying any money, he said, oh, can you try and get the cast in the video? He said, but there's no budget. I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> so I said to the cast, I said, will you do it for me? And they went, yeah, no problem. So uh, I bought them all a clock. A clock? A clock, a nice oh. clock. There was a yeah. lovely shop in Leeds in the Victoria Quarter. Dead, dead unusual clock. So I got them all a beautiful clock. Oh. So uh, that was my uh, payment for them. Bless them. <laughs> well, I'll put the link below to the to the songs that you sang. Um, I did write them down. What were the, what were the two songs? You did two, didn't you? I did. Where did our love go? And I did. Don't want to be alone. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which was great. We shot that in Tenerife. Oh wow! And you know, it rained the whole week. We were there to do it. And okay. we were trying to find parts of the island to do the shots. And it was like pouring with rain, windy. And I'm there trying to look all glamorous and slow motion like this with my hair. <laughs> and it was freezing cold. <laughs> but it looks good. If you watch it on YouTube, don't want to be alone. It looks quite I'm nice. Gonna, I'm going to put the link on, on this, the comment thread below so people can see it. Um, so what was Simon Cowell like? Was he, um, was he good to work with? He nice Simon to work? is adorable. I love him to pieces. Oh. I went to a charity, was it last, not last year, the year before, with him, and I was sat next to him at the table. And do you know what? He's just the most loveliest guy. Gorgeous. And his son was there. And what a lovely little kid he is. Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. yeah he comes across like that. I mean, again, he's just done so much charity work, hasn't he? And he's such a great yeah. influence on so many people. Um, but going back to Heartbeat, obviously you played Gina Ward for 17 years. That's a long time. It was actually 18, my love. 18, I, I <laughs> apologise. I take a retraction on that. 18 years. Um, 18, and, yeah. and he's, like you say, the, the cast, like Derek Folds, Nick Berry, Bill Main, are just incredible, incredible people to be around. And oh, it on. Something's gone on. you just set Siri off on my phone. <laughs> oh my God. Pipe down, Siri. Pipe down, Siri. <laughs> Say that again. Sorry, yeah. So when you're in Heartbeat, obviously you've got Derek Folds and Bill Maynard, Mark George, and you've got some incredible actors surrounding you. And yeah. when you work in that close proximity, it literally becomes like a family, doesn't it? Oh, it was a family for all those years. Yeah. I mean, it's quite sad because five of the main actors are dead yeah. now. So Bill Simons has gone. Derek Folds has gone. My gorgeous friend Derek, I used to speak to him every single day, Liam. Oh. Um, Peter Benson, uh, Jeff Hughes, uh, who else? There's another one, there's five of them. And you know what? It's, people often write to me and say, oh, we wish you could bring it back, but how could it come back? Yeah. You know, it wouldn't be the same, would it? Let's be honest. But you must have had a fabulous time working with all those. I had a great time. Absolutely. And, and do you know what I used to love, Leanne, is the guest actors that used to come in, like yeah. Gary Barlow. I mean, yeah. when I was told Gary Barlow was coming in to play my boyfriend, I nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be the highlight of the career, isn't it? Listen, I'm telling you now, you know, Gary Barlow, I'm a massive, in fact, I've been playing Take That all morning in the shower. Aww. Could it be Magic and Lulu, you know, um, what is it, Relight My Fire. 
Yeah. And uh, anyway, so the reason Gary did Heartbeat because of his grandma. Uh-huh. His grandma was a, ma- was a massive fan. And uh, she said, oh, I'd love you to get in that program, Heartbeat. Because he's never act- acted before. So anyway, he came in. And uh, I mean, he wasn't the best of actors, to be honest. But, he, you know, he was lovely. And every night after we finished filming, he'd put on a show in the hotel. Okay. We all stayed in the hotel, the Malian Spout in Ghostland, where we filmed it. And he'd be there singing away. We called him Barry Garlow. <laughs> um, but Maybe. what a lovely down-to-earth lad he is. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, Lulu did it. In fact, when Lulu did it, um, she, I went, she, she filmed the programme and then two weeks later she did an audience with Lulu and uh, she got me up to sing Shout with her because oh. I kept saying to her when we were on set I kept saying I love Shout oh my god my favourite song so she got me up to do the, you know, the first bit well and I was like oh my god I was shaking wow uh, but great actors in there you know Twiggy we've had Dave Thora Heard uh, uh, what's he called Ross Abbott Charlotte Church did it yeah some great actors we used to all get giddy the cast because we knew every week there'd be someone famous coming in so we were like the producers who's coming in this week who's who's in it we wouldn't say no you can't you've got to wait for the read through so uh we get to london and there we go we go oh my god look who it is oh, <laughs> you know, well struck. in fact daniel craig did one you know did he really? Yeah, he did, yeah. I did a scene with him, my claim to fame, James yeah. Bond, darling. James Bond, Bond yeah. girl. <laughs> yeah, it was great. I do miss it. I do really miss Heartbeat. Yeah, and it's great when Which, you've got those stories, because sometimes when you've, you've kind of got an idol or somebody that you really admire and you meet them, it can be a bit of a, not a great moment, can it? And exactly, yeah. Those stories that they were amazing and lovely and, you know, down to earth. I mean, there's not been, I'm just going to unplug this, there's not been anyone who's been a, a nightmare, to be honest. All of the guest actors have been really nice. Yeah, yeah. Because you think, oh, they're going to be a bit like, you know, lovey, lovey, darling, darling, and yeah, be horrible and kind of thing. But no, there's been no, no bother with anyone, to be yeah. fair. I think I found the more famous they are, they actually, actually better they are. They're nicer. nicer. I mean, I loved working, do you remember George Cole from Minder? Yeah, yeah of course. He was lovely. Yeah, wow! I've got some lovely photographs with him. Fantastic. Yeah. I do think sometimes. I mean, I, sometimes I'm quite glad that years ago there wasn't the internet. You know, when we were kind of kicking off back then, in uh, 10, 20 years ago. Um, but then sometimes I think I wish I'd have taken more pictures back then. Do you? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have got loads of photographs. I've got to say, <laughs> I did go through a silly phase of taking pictures and pictures and pictures. I've got boxes full of photographs. You know. <laughs> Oh, but they're nice it's nice yeah. you know to look back on oh definitely yeah so you, you kind of you did heartbeat and then just kind of touching on the reality side of things you were offered a spot in in big brother was it about 2010 you did that was it 10 years ago now it was let me think it was about seven years ago seven years ago so yeah. how, how how was that yeah <laughs> <laughs> The paycheck was good. That's all I can say. <laughs> no, I, you know, it was all right. I mean, the people in there were, were good. I was in with Rylan. That's right, yeah, yeah. Which was, because he just kept us all entertained. There was a couple in there from America uh, called Heidi and Spencer. Uh, That's right. Heidi, they called yeah. them. Yeah. They weren't nice. Uh, Razor Ruddick was in there. Uh, Frankie de Tory. Uh, who else is in there? Paula Hamilton. Uh, and the lovely Gillian Tailforth. I spoke to her the other day. I haven't spoke to her for ages. And we caught up. And she's gorgeous. We got on so well. The thing is, though, you know, the editing is massive. The way they edit it, it's all it's a little bit fixed, to be honest. Because yeah. when I came out, I thought, oh, did you see me do this? Did you see me do that to be family? No, didn't no. see you do anything. Yeah. But when they show your best bit, they show all the good bits on you when, when you come out, but they don't show it when it's actually on the telly. In there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so God. I was in there for three weeks, and um, I, I I couldn't wait to get out because it's it's just so claustrophobic in the bedroom, yeah. and it stinks. And you've, you've got, got all no, these bodies. You've got no contact. You've got no kind no, of. I don't know what the hell's going on in the outside. You don't know how you're being, um, you know, portrayed in there, and you know you've got Razor Ruddick snoring his head off. <laughs> 
<laughs> right next to me in the bed next to me is like, <laughs> every night. So I'd go in the diary and go, please, big brother, can I just sleep on the couch? No, Trisha, go back to bed. God. Oh, God. No, I, I, I don't think I'd want to go through that again. Snores. <laughs> you what? I go mad if Phil breathes, let alone snores. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Stop breathing. <laughs> but it was winter and um, it was snowing like mad when I was in there. Oh, was it? The snow was so thick outside. Yeah. Um, and there was a girl, what's she called? Um, Lacey Banghard. <laughs> Page three girl. It's <laughs> <laughs> a funny name, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Lacey Banghard. Oh, God. I think on those programmes, though, you know, I, obviously you're there for like three weeks, two weeks, three weeks. And, yeah. you know, at the beginning, the authentic you will eventually come through. And I think that's why, you know, people do well in those programs because I think the first week yeah. can be a little bit of like a, a front, a facade, and then it has it can't remain there, can it? No, not at all, no. <laughs> The true personality comes through in comes the out. end. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. But no, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Don't do Big Brother. <laughs> yeah, no, don't do it. <laughs> so tell, talk about what's next now for you, Trish, because I know you, obviously you're recording this album tomorrow, which can't wait to hear that. Yeah. Uh, what's kind of in the pipeline for you at the moment? There's a few things, but I can't talk about it. Oh, can we not have an exclusive on here? <laughs> <laughs> so no, there's, there's two things which are sounding hopefully good. Amazing. You know. Yeah. Uh, you know what they are. <laughs> so yeah, so I've just got to wait and see. I mean, obviously with lockdown, everything's completely, oh, nobody, nobody knows what's going on, do they? No. It's all going to get back to normal. Yeah. But so um, yeah, yeah. So like, doing the song it, tomorrow. It, in yep. the studio. Uh, so that'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. I like a bit of You To Me Or Everything, do you? Yeah, I love that song. Absolutely. The real thing. Uh, they were Scousers, weren't they? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah they were from Liverpool, yeah. So I'm just agreeing with you because I'm thinking you know. <laughs> <laughs> if she says it, it's true. <laughs> Listen, I've spent all morning spraying my roots to come on this show. Oh, we can't go on an interview without talking about roots, can we? She's Look. got a blatant advertisement now. What have you got there? Everyone's it's gonna cold, colour, thick, blonde. My roots have gone that black, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Do they still look bad when they look at okay? They look all right, yeah. You've been a good job. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna have to invest in a bottle myself because mine are just getting Listen, it's only this is one ninety nine from um what was it from B and M? Oh. One ninety nine, guys. Those are going to go through the roof this afternoon, you know that now. I'll tell you what, it's done me good. I mean, it still looks a bit black, but better than it was. <laughs> Covered up the grey. <laughs> well, Trisha Penrose, interior designer, then Trisha Penrose um, advertising oh, yes. hairspray. <laughs> oh, yes, my love. Multi, multi talented girl. <laughs> it's so lovely to have um, a strong female. Um, I absolutely adore you, Trisha. I think you're super talented. Oh. If you if you could, I always ask this question at the end. If you could kind of quantum jump into like three years time, yeah, take a journey with me, and you could wake up in the ideal world for you. Where would you be? What would you be doing? Or what would be your dream job? Oh, my dream job. To be honest, I'd love to be on Corrie. That would be my dream job because it's on my doorstep. Yeah, I love Coronation Street. I bet obviously you, you're with lovely Phil, aren't you? So he's been on there. Dead barn. Yeah, I'd love to do Corrie. I'd love to have a regular stint on there. Yeah. Uh, and that's it, really. That's all. Don't really wish for much. And you'd, you'd stay in Manchester, would you? There's no like dreams to move abroad or. No, no. I could, well, I've got, I've got partnership in a bar in Spain. Yeah. The Heartbeat Bar in Torreblanca. So I'll be going over there when lockdown's over and doing a little bit of singing. Oh, fab. Yeah, so, yeah, but no, I don't really have an, any need to be going abroad. No. To live, you know. Yeah. I love Manchester. Yeah. Mon Mon yeah. How do you say it? Manchester. Just off. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not from Manchester, but I've been up here 20 years and my boys have both got a bit of a mank accent going You're on. You're very posh. Am I? Your voice is posh. I'm like Hyacinth Bouquet. It's, it's my <laughs> easy voice. <laughs> <laughs> I've just done a programme actually, which is, I think it's aired this Saturday uh, for Sky called Memory Lane. Right. So I recorded that last week and it's 
all about the 80s music, all my favourite 80s songs. Ah. Talking about 10, I have to pick 10 songs and talk about why I like them and stuff. And then they, they play the, the video yeah, yeah. back to me. So we did it like this on Skype. Amazing. So I'm looking forward to seeing that on Saturday. Oh. Also, I've got my radio show. Yeah, tell us about your radio show. I was going to get round to that. Tell us about so it's, uh, it's just radio, it's Radio Wirral. So yeah. I do that Saturday night, 7 till 10. Uh, Pre-party playlist. In my pyjamas. <laughs> and my dressing gown. <laughs> That's it's great. I love it. I love doing radio, Liam. Oh, yeah. It's just so it's different. Makeup on everything. You don't have to worry about your hair, do you? It's no. No. I look at a mess. I've got no makeup on. <laughs> Like I said, my gym jams on, sat in the bedroom like this, got my headphones on, got my little mic set up and just love it, talking nonsense. Great I did great interview songs. with Gaynor Morgan the other day and I came off and was like, I think radio's for me. I'd definitely you were great. I listened to that. You were really good on that. Well, I don't know whether I was good, but I didn't have to do my hair. I didn't have to put makeup on. I didn't have to worry about what I was wearing. So I was like, this is like... It's right up your street. I'm going on uh, Gaynor's radio show again on Wednesday on Expat Radio. Oh, she's fucking um, absolutely she's fine. Good. She's really good at it. Good at it, really. She really is, yeah. She's natural. So, Trisha, it's been lovely talking to you this morning. I'll let you get back to your painting, to your, your drawing, oh, to your exercise, to. whatever you're going to do. <laughs> let people know where can they, you know, if they want to kind of follow you, if you've got some some places where they can. Well, I'm just on. I'm just on Facebook, Trisha Penrose, um, yeah. and at Trisha Penrose on Twitter, and I'm on Instagram as well. Yeah. So if you will, so, we'll put the handles underneath on this comment there. We did have a couple of questions, actually. One from um, a lady called Sue Price said, do you remember coming to Witten Albion when you were dating Jason Gallagher? Ugh! <laughs> do you have to say that name? <laughs> Jason Gallagher? I used to go out with him when I was, like, 15. Oh, really? Yeah, he used to play for Wh Witten Albion, but I don't remember going. But I know, uh, yeah, I'm I know sorry, what she's talking about. Who remembers you going? <laughs> And then um, a lovely girl called Sophia Spence, she wanted to say hi to you. Apparently she worked with you on Heartbeat um, a while ago. And then Francie wanted to say hi to you as well. So um, we've had so many comments come through on here. I've not had a chance to read them all, so I'm going to go back through and, and uh, let you see all them. And we will post your Facebook page and your Instagram underneath so people can follow what is- Leanne, I want whatever you're putting on your skin. <laughs> you, know what it very nice. you know what it is. <laughs> It looks lovely. Oh, thank you, darling. I All always right. chat to you. You're a little ray of sunshine, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side for a glass of vino. We will do. We'll go out for lunch again, lovely. Well, love you lots, darling, and I'll see you love later. Love you. Bye. Bye, lovely.